Hi guys, this is Chester over at Ferguson Subaru and Broken Arrow, and today I'm going to show you how to program pin code access on your Subaru as long as you've got the push button start. So keys like this are going to give you that pin code access. Doesn't matter if it's Crosstrek, Outback, Legacy, Forester, any of those cars with this kind of a key. So we're going to walk around back and I'm going to show you some buttons. Now we'll make sure the car is unlocked. I'm going to open the rear gate and I'm going to stop it about halfway because I want you to see this is our unlock button right here and this is going to be our pin code button and I'm going to call that a pin code button today. So the first thing we have to do is we have to tell the car we want to program a code. We're going to hold the lock button on our key fob and hold that and then we're going to reach under and we're going to hold that pin code button at the same time. Pretty soon the car is going to chirp. That's the car letting us know it's ready to accept a code. So we're going to respond using the key fob. We're going to press the lock button one time. And that tells us now we're going to program a number. We're going to use an easy one, five digits, three, two, one, two, three. Here's our first number. And the car chirps. Now we're going to press two times. One, two. And the car chirps. It chirps after every number. One. And that's to let you know that it accepted the number. One, two, and then the last number is three. One, two, three. There we go. So our number's programmed in the first time, and the car's chirping. It wants us to confirm that number. So we're going to do it one more time. Three, one, two, three. There's our chirp. Now two, one, two. There's another chirp. Now for one. Now for two, one, two, and three. One, two, three. Now watch. The doors have unlocked, the doors have locked, and that's the car letting me know it's accepted the code. So we're going to go around, we're going to toss our keys in and lock the doors and walk away. We're going to hit the lock button here. We're going to close the door. Well, why can't I lock my keys in my car? I forgot to put the key to sleep. So let's take a look at our key fob. Remember, you have to do both things. You have to program that pin code, don't forget your number, and you also have to put the key to sleep for a little while. So I want you to focus right here on this red dot. We're gonna press the lock button, and we're gonna press the unlock button twice, and then it's gonna blink four times. So lock, one, two. Blink, 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 blink. And that's the key letting me know it's going to sleep. So we'll toss the key inside the car, we'll lock the doors again, and close the door. Now the doors stay locked. I can even reach over and pull on the door, everything is locked. So let's try our pin code to see if it works. I'm going to go ahead and punch in the number, one, two, three. There's our first chirp, one, two. There's another, one, one, two. One, two, three. Now the door's unlocked. And I'm sure you're wondering, well now that I've put my key to sleep, how do I wake the key back up? So when you reach in and you grab your key, press any of the buttons and that'll wake the key back up. Now the key's awake. I can close the door, I can lock the doors, I can unlock the doors, and of course I can always unlock and lock wrapping my hand around the handle. So thanks for watching today. Make sure you come by Ferguson Subaru for your next Subaru, and make sure you ask for Chester. By the way, if I'm available, or you can't find me, you can also ask for Josiah. And a big thanks out to Josiah Spencer. He's been our cameraman for the day. Let's give him a big hand, guys. Thanks a lot.